Schmidt Ocean Institute has come a long way since the retrofit of Falcor in 2012. We have brought innovation and technology to ocean sciences, accelerating the pace of scientific understanding of our oceans. Through open sharing of information, using the power of new tools and technology, we are helping scientists accomplish more targeted missions while at sea. I think people take the ocean for granted. We are critically dependent on the diversity and the structure of the ocean and the deep ocean. And the only reason we're not incensed as to what's going on is because we can't see it. Really what we're doing with Schmidt Ocean Institute is to challenge the prevailing paradigm of how ocean research is conducted, how it's communicated, and who it affects. Supporting technological advancement at sea is a high priority for Schmidt Ocean Institute. We have added the first high-performance computing system to a research vessel, which has allowed scientists to create real-time habitat analysis, 3D reconstructions of hydrothermal vents, and allowed for adaptive sampling and research. We were the first organization to provide uh, ocean scientists with access to high-performance computing uh, capability on board of our vessel. Being able to analyze data at sea and see the changes as they occur allows the scientists to have much greater visibility into the processes that are taking place in real time. Now, almost every project requests the use of that system. Schmidt Ocean Institute has also designed and engineered a 4,500 meter capable ROV. Sebastian. I'm super proud of Sebastian, right? So this has been a long time coming. It's been about a year and a half that I started on this project and now to see it actually bring up some samples and scientists with smiles on their face and uh, the vehicle's back on board. It opens so many opportunities for all the scientists coming on board to be able to stay below the water, to do more sampling, to, to get more data. It really is a game changer. Now we're seeing hydrothermal vent systems. We're exploring sulfur beds uh, and trying to understand the processes, the interactions between what's coming out of these hydrothermal vent systems and the light that's living around those systems. Over the past five years, research vessel Falcor has traveled more than 175,000 miles, more than seven times around the world, and has mapped more than 550,000 square miles of the ocean floor. These maps led to the discovery of new underwater features such as Falcor Seamount, shipwrecks, and provided important information for future expeditions we have participated in discovering new species like the ghost fish found in the Mariana Trench. I love the way that they've been able to use the mapping technology to bring understanding in three dimensions to places that people kind of understood, like the Campeche Escarpment. Schmidt Ocean Institute has hosted a wide variety of science, allowing for new discovery and advancement across multiple disciplines. This aircraft is a hybrid system, so essentially it's a normal fixed-wing aircraft with a quadrotor attached to it. Here we have our most exciting new platform for measuring the sea surface microlayer. We fly our instruments in this. There are three different types of instruments we're incorporating into the UAVs in this cruise cameras, spectrometers, and radiation sensors. Once the UAVs take off, the instruments map both the ocean down below and the atmosphere above to acquire data that will help us understand processes affecting air-sea exchange. The opportunity to, to sail in Falkor is really cool because it really allows us to Sometimes just things that would not be funded in a normal way, a little bit more risky things, but it doesn't feel really risky because the crew is really awesome, help us get those things through. We've learned from work that we've done in extreme environments might help us to understand what might be the traits for species that are going to persist in a global ocean that is going to be changing markedly. Most organisms on the planet, most of the processes that really determine the fate of our planet, the function of our planet, are tied to the ocean. So understanding the ocean, understanding how the ocean works, is absolutely critical to knowing our planet and the way that we fit in on it. Schmidt Ocean Institute has transformed the way that the oceanographic community operates by requiring them to openly share data. The ability to stream live images from the ship to the shore 
communicate with students, museums, aquariums. The purpose is, is to try to bring awareness to the community. Many people will never get to the places where the scientists on Falcor have gotten to travel, but by openly sharing data, you're going to be able to study these subjects whether you get on board or you don't. Squiddo Plus is one example of these applications. The program allows collaborators, citizen scientists, and researchers on FACOR to explore, manage, and annotate seafloor imagery in real time. Training the next generation of ocean scientists is a high priority for Schmidt Ocean Institute. We also incorporate students with our student opportunity programs so they can come on and take a, a, what would otherwise be an empty berth and gain a really important learning experience. We have demonstrated this with over 200 graduate students through our program. The first time I came on board Falcor, I was 19. Student Opportunities Program really gave me an opportunity to focus on what I wanted to learn on board. The fact that Schmidt Ocean Institute has a program specifically designed for students makes it really easy to get that exposure. We also conduct outreach in the communities surrounding our research locations and have touched thousands through our ship tours, presentations, online presence, and ship-to-shore connections. So we're deep enough in the ocean where very little light penetrates, but there's still a little bit of light. So we get some marine plants. My favorite part about going to sea is getting to share this experience with other scientists and with the crew. And it's wonderful to be able to share these discoveries with the public and hopefully inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers. Our unique Artist at Sea program brings artists on board to tell the story of the science being conducted on Falcor through their various art mediums. Think about the feedback loop between scientists and artists in terms of visualizing information and making the communication about ocean subjects really credible and understandable for a wide audience. Our traveling exhibit has shared the art, science, and experience of being at sea with thousands through the six locations that have hosted the art pieces in 2017. We are proud of our growing community of more than 500 remarkable scientists, researchers, technicians, engineers, students, and artists who have come from more than 27 countries and represent more than 138 institutions. Five years is a, a big milestone, definitely. And uh, we've achieved a lot, I think a lot more than anybody anticipated in that time. I think over the last five years, we. We prove that we can be a, a valuable part and an asset for the science community. You do really feel part of the whole package, and I think that's one of the things Falcor does really well. Um, all of the departments really work towards one goal of helping that science happen. There's more the attitude towards the science and their work that there's a deep understanding and a motivation amongst the crew, from the stewards up to the engineers and through the deck, to help. As we look to the future, we are excited to continue advancing oceanography using innovative approaches that help to answer questions about a changing ocean. Making the data publicly available is just the first step. I think that may be our, our next challenge, in fact, is how to organize all the data we're collecting and how to share it so that it leads to outcomes. We don't have time to wait to understand the cycles of ocean health. These are very real concerns for everyone, not just ocean scientists. The oceans are a huge source of biodiversity and there's an extinction underway right now. And that's not to count the loss of coral around acidification and so forth. We need to understand it, we need to figure out a way to mitigate it. Our vision is to talk about this in ways that reach people where they live, whether they're a scientist, a student, an artist, a farmer, it doesn't matter what you do and where you are. This is your life support system.